Okay, this is going to be a super quick tutorial on how to get seven days to die to work in VR. So the first thing you're going to want to do is install seven days to die. And once you have it installed, you should go to properties and then go to betas and make sure that you're on the latest experimental build, which is this one. And then after you've done that, you're going to want to go to the instruction page. Oops, let me refresh this. Go to the uh, instruction page. I'll have it all linked down in the description. And you're going to want to open the mod, which is right here on step five. And you should probably read everything here, but you don't need to. And then you're going to want to go here, copy this to open the launcher to disable easy anti-cheat. And just in this bar right here, you're just going to backspace, control V or paste, enter, and it should open this. And then you're going to want to untick, untick this because this is usually ticked. And once that's unticked, press run and save. Seven days to die will open and then just X out of it because you only need to save the thing. And another thing you're going to want to do with seven days to die is again, go to properties. This is once it's already installed and untick this use desktop game theater while steam VR is active. And this will make it so that the mod actually turns it into VR instead of just making it a flat screen in VR. And then after you're done that, you're going to want to actually go to the mod, which is right here. And you're going to want to press manual. I heard that a few people actually did install this with Vortex. I just did it manually, so you might be able to do it with Vortex. Do a slow download. I already did it, and it's right here. And then you're going to want to, I'm just going to delete this just to show. And then you're going to want to right click and extract files, extract it here. Or you could probably just directly extract it into the, or actually you got to get the contents of the folder. So once you have this folder extracted, you're going to want to go into the folder and just have this open and then just minimize it. And then go to seven days to die again go to properties, then go to installed files and browse. And that will open it uh, over here. So once you do that, then obviously you're gonna wanna get these two lined up here. Uh, just copy the contents of the folder and drag and drop in this empty space. And it'll, I already did it, so I'm not gonna do it again. And it'll tell you to replace files. I think it usually does, and you're just gonna click yes. So once that's done, um, you're gonna wanna get your streaming platform open, but you have probably already have this if you have VR. And once that's open, just click it while you're in VR, and it should open in VR, and the mod will work. So, um, and shout out to Necro, who's letting me do this video. Um, and that's it. Okay, goodbye.